you would think I would look. Every day I do this. I have to look at my watch to see what day it is. November 21st it is. Thursday, November 21st. One week until Thanksgiving. And then the madness starts because we have a nice short season before Christmas comes. Anyway, um, did my workout this morning. I ran two miles and then did about 20 some minutes of HIIT training. Um, must have been a lot harder than it felt because I closed my red ring on my watch. Um, if you have an Apple watch or know anything about them, you have three rings. You have a blue ring, a green ring, and a red ring. The blue ring is um, stand hours. So that never gets closed until about four o'clock in the afternoon for me. You have to stand and move every hour. Um, not a problem with my job. And green is your exercise ring. It's always set at 30 minutes. You can't change that. So if you exercise for 30 minutes or more, you close your ring. And the red ring is your calories burned. And you can set that for whatever you want. So my workout this morning, and usually I don't close my calorie ring with, um, you know, just my workout in the morning. It usually takes until mid-afternoon to close that, but it closed during my workout this morning. So I'm like, okay, harder than I thought. Yay me. It's the little things that just keep you going. And I love those little, does it mean anything? No, it doesn't. In the grand scheme of life, closing my rings on my Apple Watch does not mean anything. But it's that little motivation that helps me along. And I get motivated by that kind of stuff. Some people get motivated by stickers. You know, some people get motivated by reward charts. I get motivated by these stupid little rings on my wrist. But anyway, chatting. Um, should be a pretty good day. I Dinner's going to be rough because somebody's walking down the street. Um, dinner's going to be rough because I have an eye doctor appointment at 545 and I have to leave with traffic. I should probably leave here right at five or right after. So I'm not going to be able to have dinner made before I go. And Doug has choir practice, so he won't be home until quarter to nine tonight. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for dinner. I don't really think there's any leftovers in there. Um, so we'll see. And I'm kind of disappointed because I had originally planned this awesome creamy garlic shrimp dish. I'm just going to have to bump that. Oh, my gosh. Aria! Yeah, somebody's walking their dog, so she's freaking out. Um... I'll throw outside to bark. So, yeah, not sure about dinner, but breakfast and lunch, not a problem. Um, I'm just really bummed about the dinner. I was trying to think if I could make it, like, early this afternoon and just eat early, but I don't know. I don't, like, reheat it like the shrimp and pasta stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'll figure it out. I always do. Um, I guess that's about it. Adam will be home tomorrow night. I can't wait to see him. I'm excited to see him. Um, Adam's got some very good news this week. Um, independently. He's got one. He got three really, really good pieces of news. Exciting news. And I can't share them until Saturday. And I'm bursting to tell somebody. I am just bursting to tell somebody. Because I am so excited and so happy for him. Um, but I'll share it with you on Saturday. It's killing me not to tell. Um, but yeah, he'll be home tomorrow night. So we have to go and meet him for the closing prayer service. And then we have to head out of there and go right over to a restaurant called The Mile. <laughs> Fitting for our cross country end of the year team dinner. Um, yeah, not great selections for dinner. They're they're doing like a special little buffet for us with baked ziti and roast pork sandwiches. I was kind of hoping there'd be a salad, maybe a nice veg side. Because, I mean, I don't mind eating that. I just like something with it, you know, like, I'm not a big ziti fan, but I'll definitely eat a roast pork sandwich because um, I do love that. We call it porkette in our neck of the woods. Um, I just like something to go with it. But we'll see. It'll all work out. It's fine. We all have to eat. So we just make the best choices we can. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I guess that's all I have to tell you. Uh, 
I need to film my Variety Fun unboxing and I'm struggling with it because I am not happy with my Variety Fun box this month. And I emailed my rep to let her know that and she's on vacation for two weeks. Yeah. I have a hard time promoting a product that I'm not happy with and that I don't believe in. And you know that from my channel because, and if you belong to the Facebook group, you certainly know that because Denise and I have done a million taste tests and we're like, nope, not promoting this. Nope, not promoting that. But I really, really like Variety Fun. I like what they stand for. I like what they do. But this box this month really stinks. So I'm hoping it's a just a bad month for it. Um, I don't know. Um, can't wait till my rep gets back on Monday. I'm sure I won't hear back from her on Monday because I'm sure she has 5,000 emails. But anyway, maybe I'll force myself to film it. But I'll be honest. And if they want to get rid of me, they can get rid of me not supporting something I don't believe in. Anyway, I am going to go get ready for my day. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll be back to show you my breakfast. Breakfast this morning is two eggs over light, three turkey sausages, and a two ingredient dough bagel. On the purple and blue plan, it is three points for the sausage, zero for the egg, and three for the bagel, so six points. And I have zero points worth of light butter on there. It's a quarter teaspoon. And on the green plan, it is four points for the bagel, four points for the eggs, and three points for the sausage. So 11 points on the green, six on the blue, and six on the purple. Lunch time. And for lunch today, I'm having leftover salmon, leftover from last night. And I roasted up a small delicata squash. So it is one point for the salmon, and I'm gonna give the squash one point for the teaspoon of olive oil I used to roast it. I had a decent amount of downtime today at work, so I got a lot done. I got banana muffins made, so you know I'll be having one of those for dessert. And then I got lots of wood slice ornaments painted. Now I just need to vinyl them up. So it was a productive day in between work oatmeal banana muffin for one point with my cup of tea this afternoon. It's a huge eat and run for me. I have about five minutes to eat my dinner before I have to run out the door to the eye doctor. And I hate that because it's not mindful eating. But tonight's dinner is an instant dinner because we didn't have time. I made mashed potatoes, uh, homemade. There are three points for this serving. Green beans, and these are frozen Ikea meatballs. On the blue, I have to figure out the points for the other plans, but on the blue plan, the meatballs are seven meatballs for five points. Mashed potatoes are three points on the blue plan. Green beans are zero, and I have about two points worth of gravy. So 10 points for dinner on the blue plan tonight. So that is it for me tonight. I um, The only thing I had after dinner was um, two little mandarin oranges. Um... That's it. Pretty boring day today, but that's okay. Boring is not bad. Hopefully tomorrow should be just the same. I will have my grocery haul and meal plan go up tomorrow. And I guess that's it. And then I might do, I'm trying to think what we're doing Saturday. Um, I'll probably do a full day of eating Saturday and possibly a cook with me. I have, I'm trying a new recipe that I kind of threw together from four or five different recipes, uh, sausage, sausage gravy and biscuit casserole for breakfast. Assuming I get up and assuming I feel like making it. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a fantastic night. And don't forget, if you know somebody who would like my content, please share, share, share on your social media, share however you want. And that's it. Have a great night and I will see you tomorrow for a meal plan and grocery haul.